What's going on guys and girls? Welcome to another episode. My name is Ryan Roots. I'm Ali Roots. And, and together, together we are Rally Roots. Roots. Welcome to our channel. If you are brand new to our channel, we are a husband and wife reselling team. We buy stuff and then we sell it online for a profit on places like Amazon and eBay. We've been doing that for years and years. That's how we make a full-time living. So if you're into stuff like that, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. So today we're doing something that we don't typically do, um, but it makes for good content and it's something that a lot of people can do to kind of like get started in their area. And that a lot of people do for their business model. True. So the other day at our warehouse property, we bought this like water treatment unit from Costco. Costco is like a big box store. If you don't have one in your area, it's like this massive you're out of the country or if you're out of the country yeah. yeah so we bought this like water treatment thing it was expensive it's like three thousand dollars to treat the water at our property and it included an ro system for our house yes true right but part of that was they ran a promotion that gave us cash back so we got this little cash back card in the mail how much is this thing worth i think it's 450 dollars 449 what? $449. So we have this card with 449, basically free dollars on it. And what we thought we could do today is take this money to Costco and see if we can find stuff there that we can flip online for a profit. Cause we have in the past and we've done very well with it. So this is called retail arbitrage. Going into a, a retail store like a Costco or a Target or a Walmart, just a regular store finding things that they've marked low enough for us to buy and then sell on Amazon and eBay. And the reason why this is even a thing is because in certain places, people just don't have access to the products. So like there's not Costco's everywhere. Right. So if there's a product at Costco that someone wants and they have to purchase it online, um, also, Costco is a membership uh, store, yeah. so you have to have a membership to shop there. Some people don't, so you get discounts and sometimes there's room to flip. Not always, but we'll see what happens today. And different stores get different things in different areas, yeah. right? Like if you want to shop at a discount store like Marshalls or TJ Maxx, every TJ Maxx gets different right. you know, product in. And Costco is pretty similar. It's like based off of the area geographically, like you'll get different stuff. I mean, our Costco is not going to get jackets rated for zero degrees for the most true, part because that's true. we're in Tampa, yeah. Florida. Like yeah. <laughs> they can't mass sell that. They're gonna put appropriate products in Tampa for the region geographically. Right. So today's video is all about retail arbitrage. Let's go see if we can turn this free money into more money. More money! <laughs> and thank you to Payability for sponsoring today's video. More about Payability later. Let's go to Costco and shop. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. So while we're on our way to Costco, I just wanted to share this find with you guys because one other thing that we like to do is we go to thrift stores like Goodwill and we find, again, underpriced things to flip online. So this morning, before I went to the gym, I went to Goodwill and I found this smart lock Wow. for $10. And all I did was I scanned it on the bottom with the eBay app and it popped up and it was showing used it was selling for over $100. <laughs> So I just like, I took it out the box because it's really easy to open. You want to make sure it's in here, obviously. And I open it up and the thing's brand new. So $10 into probably 130 bucks nice. in five minutes of Goodwill. All right, guys, we just pulled up to Costco. A couple of things. Um, if you are doing this, make sure you download the eBay app and the Amazon app, seller app, so you can scan stuff in there and check what the stuff's selling for. So get that downloaded. Um, we are going to be wearing masks because it's COVID time. So yes. we'll try to talk clearly through the mask. Try. All right, let's go see what we can find. I can't believe we did so well with the Uggs that one time. You can actually get it cheaper on eBay. Huh. You get it for 100 bucks on eBay and it's 140 here. Wow. Shape, None listed okay. and no sales. That's the other thing too, is like some products are made like exclusively for Costco. Yeah. So, so you're, you're not going to find them online. Yeah. But or, like <clears throat> Conair does make a similar product, but it's going to be a different UPC and everything right. like this. Right setup is unique to Costco but they might have the same exact thing with maybe like three heads right right so some things some things are going to sell for more on Amazon too uh, but you might be gated you might you might not be allowed to sell it on Amazon yeah 50 bucks selling for 40 so it's that one actually does have a profit but after shipping and fees you have to remember that too it would be a profit but not after shipping and fees exactly Exactly. You got to keep that in mind. So when we're doing this, we're looking mostly for stuff that's um, like a 30 to 40 percent profit because we have to pay fees on it as well. Yeah, same price. Same price or cheaper. No deal. No deal. That's what this is about, though. Like a lot of it is just literally walking around the store and scanning as many things as you can. And maybe one out of 
a couple hundred is going to be worth it, you know? Yeah. There used to be this golf ball, Kirkland brand golf ball that um, Costco made. Yeah. And it was like the best golf ball. So everybody was, they were like selling out pallets of it. People were buying a box of it and then reselling it for like Crazy triple. Um, but I don't think they've restocked the same one. It's weird. Do they outlaw it or something? I don't know. Is it like a trick ball? No, I know. It's just like... The best it was, ball. Yeah, it was like a like a Callaway ball, but a generic version of it. Oh. Kirkland so brand. it was amazing and super cheap, but then also, then it wasn't cheap and people still wanted it. Toys are tough because they're usually pretty cheap and big. So shipping's going to be expensive on them. And profit, you know, profit's not really going to be there. Because think about that. That would cost like... 25 bucks to ship easily it's already a quarter of the price just yeah i don't want to do that callie doesn't want to ship it <laughs> <laughs> sorry gabby let's go look at the shoes because the last time we did this we found a bunch of hug brand oh, shoes yeah. we actually made a lot of money on those things so yeah, yeah they sold quick too we made a ton of money on those adidas cloud foam shoes back oh, in the day yeah. too remember I those i forgot about those yeah these are not bad and those we could just, we took them out the box and shipped them first class mail. Allie's very excited, very excited because they have comfies here. Have you seen what a comfy is? No. When Aaron bought them, they were $50. It's comfy. Ridiculous. I walk my dogs in these. It's too hot in Florida for that. Okay, whenever it's at night and it's in the 50s and that's a cold breeze. They're actually very nice. It's like being inside of a kangaroo pouch. I assume. I mean, I've never been inside of a kangaroo pouch. I don't know. It's kind of scratchy. Nah, dog. You're the best. <laughs> nah, dog. <laughs> Nuts. Cheapest one on these is $55. Oh. And they're selling for $39. So small margins, right? But yeah. $55 minus probably 6 bucks. And there's a limit of four. Six bucks? Probably. So forty-two dollars. So you make four you make three bucks a unit. Or you sell them in lots of two and put them in a padded. That's true. You could sell them in lots of two. But then you would still only be making like five to six bucks a unit, which would be it would be like ten percent. So here's a it's a profitable item, but again, not profitable enough for our model. Right. You know? And you're limited. And these are actually limited. Whereas you can only get four. Not everything is limited. I'm yeah. limited. Unlimited. Ricola. So forty six seventy, and it's thirty four ninety seven. But what's interesting is there's one listing for forty six seventy. The the next least expensive is sixty five. Wow. So maybe this person like. How many do they have? There's a quantity. So they have like, oh, there's four, four available. available. So if four of those sold, and then the next one, I wonder if, let's look at solds quick. Yeah, so they are, they're selling for 45. But I wonder once that listing's gone, will that $65 one start selling? One other thing I have heard that people do is when there's two packs like this, they'll buy it and then separate them. Uh. And so, you know, if it's $34, they'll sell one for 25 and the other one for 25, you know? So I think that's about it. Like we weren't really able to find anything here, which obviously that happens. It's it hit happens and miss. all the time. As it gets closer to the, like the holiday season, they get more stuff and there's more definitely- More sales. More sales and more things to, to look out for. So. And more people shopping online because they don't want to go to stores. Mm -hmm. But again, you can check your Costco's too. There's no one around me. You, <laughs> you can check your Costco's too oh. and see, um, see what's what's at your store as well like just because we have certain things at our store doesn't mean that you won't find better stuff at your stores so we weren't able to find anything here to flip online mm -hmm. um, but I was thinking maybe we could go thrift because I was yeah, I was <laughs> I was successful this morning at the thrift store so let's go to another one and see what, what else we can find first thrift store is this lighthouse one right here what do you find Kelly? an old school Buccaneers hat. Oh, it's pretty sweet. Old colors. Yeah, the old colorway. Vintage. So, true Pearson companies. That's pretty sweet, actually. Yeah. How much are hats? I don't know, but it's, it's a little dirty, but... Clean that up. There's a thick one here. It's just a compass. No, they have one hanging up, too. It's just a vintage shirt. Uh, make the run. 
Like a skiing shirt. That looks old. Vintage ski shirt. Ooh, a champion jersey. Nice, babe. Is it Marino? <laughs> Damn Dolphin. Marino. It is. Quarterback for Dolphins. How much is that? Two two ninety nine. That's not bad. Yeah. So even in this condition, with like the writing on the collar, there's a little bit of fraying there, and it's faded. Even in this condition, it's still like a thirty-five to forty-dollar item. Go me. Good job, Allie. So nicely done. Ah. <laughs> three bucks into thirty-five forty. Those are the type of margins that we need. Just quickly want to pause the video here and say thank you to today's sponsor, Payability. If you guys have watched our videos for a while, you'll know that it's very, very rare that we take on a video sponsor. We're approached by companies every single day and we have to be very careful about who we align ourselves with. Payability is an amazing company. We've worked with them for the past few years. We've had a lot of our subscribers use their services and they've seen some great results from using them. So that's why we're comfortable saying that today's video sponsor is Payability. So Amazon sales in quarter four are expected to exceed $85 billion this year. Payability helps Amazon and eBay sellers take advantage of that opportunity. So what they do is they offer accelerated daily payouts to people selling on platforms like Amazon that have a typically delayed payout schedule. They also do capital advances of up to $250,000. And like I said, it's not just for Amazon. It's not just for large sellers. They work with smaller and medium sized sellers as well. And they work with people who sell on eBay and Shopify too. So again, let's say you're an Amazon seller or you're an eBay seller and you're waiting to get your payment, you're waiting for that money to hit your bank account, and you need that money to go and source more product. Payability gives you advanced access to those funds so you can take them and then in turn use them to go and source more stuff. So if that sounds like something that you may need or want for your business, I'll leave a link in the description of this video. Payability is giving our subscribers a $250 sign-on bonus for using their service. So as long as you qualify, they don't have credit checks or anything like that, you just have to go and apply, submit your information, and they will let you know. So thank Thanks again to Payability for sponsoring today's video and thank you guys for watching the video and understanding that we do sometimes take on sponsors so that we can continue to make videos just like this. All right, last stop of the day is going to be this Goodwill. Yep. It's been an unsuccessful. It's not been great. <laughs> but it's you know been what? fun though. It's been fun and yeah. this is the reality sometimes, you yeah. know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's go see what we can find. This should be fun. Me. What you got there? Check it out. Whoa. All the vintage Tommy stuff I've seen, I've never seen this before. It's like a shirt. It's mesh. It's like a shirt sewn into a jersey. Yeah, it's like underneath there. It's really weird. It's ten dollars, but I don't know, it's kinda cool. Callie goes, what are you looking for? That Robert Graham? And then like three shirts later, I swear that was not a setup. So crazy. <laughs> That's a great find. You're welcome. Flip cuff Robert Graham for five bucks. <laughs> I didn't find it, but I willed it into existence. Oh, Let's keep going. Nice. <laughs> I like turtles. It's a nice little pair of dance goes. Nice. We've sold very similar to those. Yeah, these are $15 though. Ooh. Uh, so high buy costs. You can probably ooh. get like $35, $40 for them. But... They're in padded flat rate because they're heavy. Yeah. Oh yeah. 15, 15 is quite a bit. A little too much. Yeah. Put them back. Put them back. We're gonna put this shirt back because look at the listed. Twenty-five. Oh. Mm. I don't know. Good try. Just these, babe. Yeah. I'm gonna take a shot on this. I can't find anything on it, but it's cool enough. Big Tommy flag yeah. to take a shot on for ten bucks, and this is only five bucks. So. Oh yeah, but look, that seller doesn't accept returns. I wouldn't True. buy something from them either. True, true, true. Sometimes stuff won't sell because the seller has a bad listing. Pretty small too, though. I can't. I can't justify buying a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a vintage ride. But Maybe the in twenty not. years. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's because that ride. Oh, okay. Oh. okay. That ride doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> That's what yeah. you get. The karma. All right, guys and girls. That's gonna be it. Thank you for watching. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> we didn't find a whole lot, but that's the way that it is sometimes. And just because, again, just because we didn't find a bunch of stuff retail arbitrage, doesn't mean that you can't either. So right. different stuff in different areas, different strokes for different folks. And same thing with thrift stores. You never know what you're gonna find. You Ever. Know? 
I, I found that lock today, the smart lock. Ten dollars and two hundred plus, so that was a pretty cool one. But yeah, get out there, see what you can find, and thank you so much for watching. I Don't really appreciate forget it. to research listed comps as well as solds also. True. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks again to Payability for sponsoring this video. Yeah. And we'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Ryan Roots. I'm Allie Roots. Together, Together we, we are, are Rally Roots. Roots. Peace out guys. Oh, that was much <laughs> Bye. <laughs>